Well, we got a little bit of overcast this morning, but I see some blue sky peeking through here now. So, it should be a good day. In central New Hampshire, conservation officer Josiah Town patrols his hometown area near Newfound Lake. The good thing about patrolling here in the area where I grew up is that I know everybody. That's both a good thing and a bad thing because, you know, sometimes you have to arrest someone that you, um, you know, might have taken their sister to prom. <laughs> Are you serious right now? There's a vehicle sitting here in the middle of the road. It has his four-way flashers on. Uh oh, there's a hawk sitting right in the middle of the road. Hey, buddy. More than likely, sitting in the road like this, the hawk was hit by a car. That's what I'm guessing right now. I'm gonna see if I can pick it up with the least amount of damage done to the hawk. Come on. He has no idea which way is up or down. But there you go. He's pretty uh, stunned right now. Okay. Come on, buddy. Everything seems to be okay. He just kind of seems more dazed than anything. From looking at this hawk and being with it for a little while, I don't think it's badly injured. I'm gonna see if it'll just fly away. If we can get him back into the wild and healthy, that's the ultimate goal. Ready? This, is, this did not work well. Come on get too close to him, he almost like falls over, like he doesn't have good balance. I'm gonna call up the local rehabilitation center, Squam Lake Science Center. Luckily, they're right down the road. Animal care. Hello, this is Josiah Town with Fishing Game. I have a small hawk. I think it's a broad-winged hawk. I found it in the road. It was right on the yellow line. Doesn't seem like anything's broken on it, but it's just kind of out of it. You can bring it on in and we'll uh, take a look at it and see what we can do for it. OK, sounds good. Normally, I'd put him in a pet carrier, but I don't have one with me today. He seems fairly calm when I'm holding him, so I'm just going to try and bring him in the cab of my truck. Oh, my word. I usually don't let him ride on my lap. He's a very lucky hog. Some people have horse units, some PDs, some have canine units. We have a hawk unit. You do not want us to deploy our hawk. Ka -ka! <laughs> Hello. How's it going? How are you? So we got a Broadway hawk. I'm not really sure. You tell me. Okay. That's him right there. That is a broad hawk, for sure. It's definitely a great resource to be able to bring things to the Swam Lake Science Center. They'll hold them for us. If they're just stunned, they'll release them. Take a look at them and see what we can do. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. That was kind of fun. I'm going to head over to Squam Lake and see if I can check on the hawk that I picked up the other day. I've never had a hawk that was that docile before. You know, it rode in my lap. Usually, you got to find a box, and, you know, they're flapping everywhere trying to get away from you. So it'll be kind of interesting to see what was wrong with it and see if it's going to be able to be released back out into the wild. The Squam Lake Science Center is an animal care facility. They have a lot of wildlife there on the premises. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. How's the hawk doing? It's doing really well. Right. School groups go there, walk through, learn about the wildlife in the state of New Hampshire. They're also a rehabilitation center. So Broadwing Hawk is right in here. All right. And he is fully flighted, so he may try to fly towards the door, in which case we just Close want to make sure. Like that. <laughs> I'm calm down for a second. Yep. Um, small bird, definitely a juvenile. Yep. Unfortunately, it's not a releasable hawk. It's blind in one eye. I knew that there was something wrong with it when I picked it up. 
um, and that explains a lot. So we think that it was just starving, which is why it would have been hanging out by the road and why it would have been so cooperative. A blind hawk is going to have a hard time hunting. Do you know how it went blind? Most of the time, what we're looking for, as far as eyes go, is um, a skull fracture, uh, which is attributed to, to car crashes. Yeah. Um, however, in this case, we have a, our radiograph here. Oh, yeah. I, there's no that. sign of a skull fracture there. All right. um, so most likely just blind from birth. Yeah. What's your plan for him where he can't be released? What are you guys gonna do? We've already made contact with another nature center down in New Jersey. Yeah. They were looking for a broadwing hawk as an education bird. Okay. So in a couple of weeks it will be shipping down to New Jersey. Excellent. I'm glad this hawk is gonna get a second chance. He's gonna be able to go down and be an ambassador for his species to uh, educate the public on Broadwing hogs.